for a one bedroom. Nice ratio there. To $18.5 million for a four bedroom, four bath, two floor penthouse apartment at the top of the tower. So, and actually, if you are in the market for a little, you know, cozy spot here in Chicago, there are about 80 unsold units in that tower. So, you know, if you're in the market, think about it. I'll be just planting those seeds. On your left, the Swiss Hotel, this metal and glass triangular building here. It's a triangular design by a man named Harry Weiss. Harry Weiss was a very accomplished architect a few decades ago who loved triangles. He was obsessed with triangles. He put them in just about every single one of his designs. So if you walk around Chicago and you see another triangular shaped building, it's most likely this same architect, Harry Weiss. But I love the, tri the, uh, the trio of these three buildings here. You've got the triangular building, that boxy building next to it, and then the wavy building in the background. And I think that's a great little introduction to the ways that buildings are always speaking to each other in these little interesting ways nowadays. You can always find how they complement each other in terms of style, in terms of shape. And that's something we'll talk a lot about here tonight, about how buildings, they actually fit into their environment, fit into their context. They don't just stand alone. Some Chicago facts for you. As of the 2020 census, there are 2.7 million people living in Chicago. About 9.4 million live in the Chicago land area. And that makes us still the third largest city in the United States behind New York and Los Angeles. And Chicago is the city on the lake. We have over 20 miles of lakefront, 20 swimming beaches, over 5,300 boat slips, and 10 harbors. And that lake, Lake Michigan, it's such a big part of the culture in Chicago. So much of what we do when the weather is nice out on days like today, earlier today, is centered on going to the lake, being by the lake. So I always plug in, if you're looking for a nice, simple activity to do in Chicago, the number one thing I recommend for folks is go for a nice little walk by the lakefront, go for a bike ride. It's a beautiful activity to do while you are here. And if you ever get too hot, just jump right in. It's very, very refreshing in the summertime. On your right, this lovely clock tower building is the Wrigley Building. The Wrigley Building was built in the early 1920s, about 100 years ago. And it is a style of architecture that we call Spanish Revival style. We call it Spanish Revival style because that clock tower up there was modeled after La Giralda, which is a cathedral in Sevilla, Spain. That clock tower that you see there is similar to the one that you can see in Spain. So there are 250,000 glazed terracotta tiles of cream and white drawing your eye upward. Terracotta is a material softer than porcelain and must be hand washed with soap and water. Now this is the same Wrigley as in Wrigley Chewing Gum, as in Wrigley Field, go Cubs. And you might be asking yourselves, you know, why exactly 